towards the boundary. You have some inexperienced corners on both sides oh, yeah. tonight. Yeah. Be a, it's going to be a serious storyline. Story Henderson motions out, empty backfield in this first time play. Strat across the middle, throws a dart, and it's Cage Stover, the tight end, who's becoming an increasingly important part of this attack, getting vertical. Stover going across in motion to the right now. Strad looking across the middle and he flips it down and the catch is made by Ibuka who fights toward the pylon and is forced out at the one. John Torchio saved a touchdown but it's first and goal. Stover going across in motion to the right now. Strad looking across the middle and he flips it down and the catch is made by Ibuka who fights toward the pylon and is forced out at the one. John Torchio saved a touchdown, but it's first and goal. Ball thrown behind the linebackers and in front of the safeties. He gets pressure. Look at the linebackers. They're looking for crossers. They're not thinking about the vertical shots downfield in the seams. Second time now that Stroud's been able to hit that. There's the progressive pylon cam that shows you that Ibuka is definitely pulled out of. Just like that, they are knocking the door at Mayan Williams. Big physical back, gets the football, and fights through some tackles, and leans. Touchdown! Ohio State comes out swinging. 88 yards to take the lead in six plays. Wow. Even Ohio State fans are going to say, who are these guys playing in the secondary tonight? We'll, we'll fill you in. Mertz on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off. Tanner McAllister, the safety's still alive. And will finally be wrestled out to 15. A quick takeaway and a mistake by Mertz. They got to try to hold Ohio State to a field goal. Stroud rolls to his left and now throws back to a right. And wide open is Stover, who somersaults for a touchdown. Black are doing that so far. You get a motion here, and that's important pre-snap because watch what it does to the Badger defense. Now they lose sight of Stover, completely lose him. Nobody picks him up. He sneaks out, but a great job of developing and designing that. Henderson weaves his way through traffic, accelerates and barges out at the one yard line. Jay Shaw forced him out, but the Buckeyes again on the door. Surround like the art bales of hate down there. First and goal. And Stroud still got it, and he just flips it into the end zone to Stover again. The second for the tight end. They're just having fun with this vaunted Badger defense right now. And run around and play with their hair on fire, and I think you're seeing that tonight. Mertz steps up, and he will get dropped behind the line of scrimmage. And the sack. Three receivers off to the left. They run that direction with Williams. He gets some blocks and runs untouched for about 12 yards before taking a hit in the secondary from Torchio. Buckeyes on the doorstep yet again. Eighth play of this drive. Couple of tight ends in the game. Hand off and just waltzing in untouched is Williams. Four possessions. And you kick down block. You get a couple pulling from the backside. Really nobody to block there for Paris Johnson as he pulls. Mertz rolls, doesn't see anybody, and just delivers downfield. And getting behind folks is Skyler Bell. The redshirt freshman out of the Bronx are set up. The Ohio State 16. Little miscommunication in the back end. Watch Tanner McAllister's eyes. He starts to get caught up in the receiver in front of him. Nobody's back there behind to help him out. Mertz is going to get hit right as he releases the ball, but a good job. I thought he might give up on the play. Waits until the last possible moment to make that. See if Allen gets the give. Now they'll sneak it with Mertz on first and goal. And the Badgers finally crack the score column. You get a signal, make it official. Did he not get it he well across? He said left. Yeah, touchdown, finally. Statistically speaking, you look at points per game and third down defense, they've been incredible. Williams has a huge hole. It's more like a lane, and he just walks right through it into Wisconsin territory. Latu made the stop there. It's a five-year span, though. Kickoff taken by Gurendo. Breaks a tackle, runs straight ahead and hard out across the 40, so... 
two fourteen and three timeouts to work before Wisconsin. Stroud has been incredibly accurate and efficient on throws downfield. This one looped over the head and almost intercepted. Was it caught? Yeah, Torchio came across, tracked the football. Two by two look, empty backfield. CJ looks to get ball out quickly and throws it down to Fleming, who makes a man miss. Julian Fleming still running, galloping down near the 15 yard line. A huge gain on third and short. Holland, who just made the play before. More conventional looking cleats for the second. I think the, the watch left. Or maybe that was the plan. Watch his history. <laughs> Slant and touchdown. Julian Fleming fights his way in. And Ohio State, as they did to start the game, begins the second half. You're just happy to see Fleming get his touches now that he's healthy. He's going to work from the outside and come underneath. Stroud feels a little pressure, steps up into the pocket, and then makes that throw. It's like a, again, when he throws the ball, it's it's like a heat. Stroud delivers on the sidelines, and Fleming's wide open, and he's knocked down inside the 10. It'll be first and goal again. Slant touchdown at Boca. An absolute short range missile. And Stroud continues on fire tonight. Third touchdown. We got a throw across the middle. It's a dart. Abuka dives for the end zone. Touchdown pass number five for Stroud. RPO and read the backside safety who collapses down, and then you can hit the glance route right behind it. Feels that safety, gets down into the action to stop the run, and that's the balance. What are you going to The top ten had never had kind of a beat down yeah. or higher scoring. Not today. Like last week. No, yeah, not, not today. today. Different story. Here, yes, but not everywhere. Uh-oh. Allen takes off a foot race. And somehow, after an exhausting night, hope we'll see behind on the scoreboard. Allen is still firing. Braylon Allen having a night in the losing cause. Get some good blocks. He gets running downhill. He'll take off and take all those yards. He's up to 165 yards now after that long carry. Bay is going to remain perfect against unranked teams in his coaching career. Still just the one home loss. For day coach teams in Ohio State going to one and O oh in conference play. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.